Hello everybody, Jamie here with another Tech It tutorial for KaplunkGaming.com. Uh, I did a little bit of work uh, for, since last tutorial uh, in which we went to the nether and got our quarry all set up and got our quarry outputs all ready to go. Uh, so one of the things I did is made this little alchemical chest and put this little talisman of repair in it. And so this is a very cool little way to do it. If you make this talisman of repair, which is some made with just this sort of recipe covalence dust string paper makes our talisman and then put it it has to be in an alchemical chest but if you put it into an alchemical chest right it doesn't matter where it is it'll start repairing your uh, your tools as soon as you put them in so our wrench just finished a fully repaired our shovels just about to get to fully prepared repaired sorry and uh, I'm just waiting for my pickaxe to get fully uh, repaired but while that uh, gets all that s sorted out and ready uh, I'll show you that I got a little bit of more solar panels up there I got what's called a solar array so that is just a way to con uh, to so you don't have a million solar panels on your roof. You can combine eight into a solar array. I made a low voltage solar array with just eight solar panels and a low voltage transformer in the middle. And uh, that is up on my roof now. There's a little bat box going over to our new MFE, which I have a tutorial on as well. But one of the big things I did is I started a new form of power. These are the two generators that were down there before, but this right here is a geothermal generator, which uses the power of lava to go into the generator. So to make a geothermal generator, it's just geothermal generator, and you get empty cells, which is just four tin in a row, glass, refined iron, and a generator. And we all know how to make generators because they take a lot of iron and batteries and then the iron furnace. So the geothermal generator, that's how you make it. And then the way that you get it all working is that you get lava pumped up. And you're probably looking at these things like, what are these things right here? These are tanks. So this is part of build craft. And so you can take fluids. I typed in rank, not tank. You can take fluids and store them with a tank. And you're probably wondering again to yourself, how the heck do you get fluid into a tank well that again is through build craft and so basically what you have to do oh and heavens I'm getting shot by a skeleton I don't have any tools you know what I'm just gonna retreat back to my house for a minute here and show you how to uh, make certain objects that you need for to harvest geothermal energy oh heavens okay uh, first of all you will need not te you will need a pump so I made this pump, it's just a mining well and a tank and a mining well, iron pickaxe, iron gear, redstone, iron, and then you make a mining well. And a mining well is like is is quite like a quarry instead of it digs straight down instead of digging across like a in a an area like the quarry does. So that's what I did. Hopefully my tools are eh, that's repaired enough for the time being. I'll get my tools back into my hands and I'll go show you exactly what I did to get some lava into this pipe right here and uh, just so you know for future reference to pipe uh, things out of these tanks you need a wooden uh, pipe that gets pulled out and then put into here but you do need individual wooden pipes for every single one to because uh, it doesn't connect if they're right next to each other. They need to pump out to every single one. So just so you know. All right, let's go take a look. I'm getting shot by a skeleton again, I think. Yes, I am. That's fine, because we're going to go check out our... Oops. We're going to go check out our volcano. So you guys may have noticed all this basalt cobblestone here before. Or this basalt stone, I should say, not cobblestone. And... Um, Oh, we got rain. No rain here, but rain right here. <laughs> um, oh, that's miserable. I'll try to stay out of the rain. And so here, you can see our lovely volcano. And we're pumping lava straight out of this volcano, which is great. I'm not seeing any lava come out right now, but we might see it in a second. And uh, it comes through these pipes and gets piped right into those tanks that we were looking at before. So those tanks, or sorry, let me apologize, these pipes 
are cobblestone waterproof pipes. And the way you do that is you get a cactus, and if you furnace the cactus, it makes the dye, like you all know, it makes cactus green. So if we look at cactus green, if you look at cactus green, it's just smelting some cactus. And then from cactus green, you can make pipe waterproof, which is this little hose looking thing right here. Just put it into a crafting table, makes pipe waterproof, and then you can make cobblestone waterproof pipes. And so everything that deals with liquid has to, that's an iron waterproof pipe, my apologies. Uh, cobblestone waterproof pipe, that's what I'm using, which is on top of the pipe itself, makes these uh, waterproof pipes and they start pumping the liquid all the way over. So I just made this massive pipe system going all the way over. It is a long way away. It goes through here. I fell. Oh, I fell. That's fine. That's fine. Falling all over the place. And it is just miserable weather. It's nighttime. It's raining. And then it comes through here. And then up here, doesn't look like there's actually much lava coming through right now. Um, and then it's put into our pipes right there. Fantastic! And then those pipes obviously will fill up with lava, and we will have more than enough. Oh, there's a zombie in my house! Uh oh. Die, zombie. You are not welcome. You are not welcome here. Phew, that was close. And then we start generating geothermal energy. And that geothermal energy creates a lot a lot of energy so that's why you can see our quarry still rocking it uh, even at nighttime when our solar panels aren't doing anything our quarry is still working at maximum efficiency so now we have two forms of sustainable power we've got our geothermal and our solar panels and uh, that should give us enough power to get uh, things really cooking here in the tech at world so thank you very much for watching this TechIt tutorial. If you'd like to host your own TechIt server, please go to www.kerplunkgaming.com and we'd be more than happy to set up a TechIt server for you and your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.